Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be debugging why I'm not getting IP addresses into my virtual machines. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the virtual machines that I have, and I'm going to look at one that I can see. So I know, for example, this Windows test one doesn't have a virtual machine. I can't show it on here, here at the moment. So in other words, it doesn't have an IP address, but I can't show this at the moment because this is attached to uh, a physical GPU. So what I could do is I could try my TrueNAS one. Okay, let's try the TrueNAS one. Okay, you see how it has no IP addresses? That's not because it doesn't accept tagged VLANs or anything like that. It's just because, well, let's have a look at what that is. So, if I look at the networking that I have here, right, you'll see that I have one, two, three NICs at the moment, which are physical. I also have a couple of virtual switches. The one that this uses is TrueNAS switch. That's the switch that it uses. Now, if you look here, we have three virtual machines attached to a switch which has no physical adapters. Now, how can that be? Well, that's because the NIC which is associated to this virtual machine is not being found inside of the host machine. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I go to manage and go to hardware, Inside of here, I should see an Intel NIC. So in other words, I have an X710, a T4 edition, which allows me to pass through each NIC individually. But if I look down, I'm not seeing this. See, I'm not seeing this at all. So that leads me with a couple of options. The first one, I think, which is the best, is to just restart the entire machine. In other words, the ESXi host. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just turn off all these machines um, as they are. You don't necessarily need to do this, but for the moment, I'm just going to power them all off. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Wait for all the machines to turn off. Okay, they're all off. Let's just check and make sure. Okay, they're all off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to host and I'm going to reboot the host. So as it's rebooting, what I'm aiming to gain by the reboot is I'm hoping that I can see the new NICs. So what should happen is I should be able to see the new network attached interfaces and be able to assign them onto the host. Now, there may be a part two to this video where I need to go into my rack and then put the lead, which is the, uh, the Ethernet lead, in from the correct port on the back of the NIC into the switch. So that would be the next part of this video if this part doesn't fix the debugging. Okay, I... No healthy upstream, okay. So it's still in the configuration stage, it's still booting. So in other words, the machine is up, but the actual subsystems, the processes which are needed for VMware are not up. Now they are. Okay, let's log in. With the right username and password. Okay, let's see if we solve the problems. So, first thing to have a look at is our networking, our TrueNAS switch. We have one uplink, VM NIC4. So, we now have one interface. It's linked as down, which is fine. That means 
we will I will need to go into the rack and then link up the NIC. But notice here that it does say that our driver is I40EN, which means that there is an uplink. So if I go back to manage and then look at the hardware, I should now see that I have the Intel Ethernet controller X710 uh, 10 gigabit base T. So sometimes what happens is, and for some reason, the hardware doesn't necessarily get detected when we're trying to have the switches all there ready for us. So that, that's generally what happens. So once that is all done, now we can uh, go to the second part of this video, which is to essentially create that physical uplink, which should then give us DHCP addresses, which would then in turn make all of our virtual machines work. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please like, 